Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to stabilize your videos in DaVinci Resolve 15. So first off, we need to import our videos into DaVinci Resolve, and then if we have any camera changes in our videos already, we need to cut where they are. So like here, I've just simulated it and I've made a cut, so we're just going to call that a camera change. So here is where we're going to stabilize. We're going to stabilize this part because this is the worst part of the video, believe it or not. So you see how I'm jiggling the camera around, around a lot it's because my phone didn't have stabilization. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the color tab, then we're going to go to this tab up here. You should probably will start here if you've never used it before. So we're going to click on tracker, then we're going to select the video we want, and it's probably already on it if you were on it over here, but just make sure you're on the right one. And then we want to hit up here, it's going to start on window. Then we're going to click Stabilizer. Then we just click Stabilize. We're going to go all the way back to this. And then we're going to click Stabilize. And then it's going to analyze the video. Try and track the camera movements. And then, once it's done, we should see a stabilized video. Hello there. Today I'm... Nope, that's the intro. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, so we see here that it has clearly zoomed in a bit. So now if we hit play, it should be a bunch more stable than it was before. It's not perfect, don't like just understand that, but it's definitely better than before. And down here you can also change these uh, settings. Okay, what we're going to do this time is we're going to cut this down to a smaller segment. So let's do like this much, just so it doesn't take 10 years. Okay, so if you change it to like similarity it's gonna look a bit different than bloody whatever the other one was I forget perspective so yeah there's that and it's done so now if we look at it it should look a little different um, in this case it looks a little more smooth but it's definitely still shaky and honestly, just play around with all these little dials and stuff, and it will eventually look pretty stable compared to <coughs> what it was. So, yeah, there are obviously better ways to do it, but this is how you do it in DaVinci Resolve. So, thank you for watching this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.